you pre fight your father either, did you? No, it's going to be kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm James Mikolachewski, and I just graduated from Alabama. I studied accounting. And I was pretty involved in a lot of stuff on campus, mainly my job at the rec center. Did that for three years. Uh, recently got involved in personal training. And I'll actually be coming back for one more year next year for my master's of accounting. I wasn't actually going to. I was just going to, I was going to graduate with 158 credit hours undergrad and then take the CPA exam and go work in Nashville. But I actually decided I wanted to switch the department I was in within my company and they were super willing to make that happen, but they needed me to intern again. So I'm interning this summer with Ernst & Young, Nashville, me and my four roommates and then the 10 girls that live next door. And we all became like a really close group of friends. So over the last two years, like everything we've done has been together and it's pretty great. We actually have a mini pool in our front yard. So, and it was a beautiful day, 85 and sunny. So we, we were just hanging out out there, uh, got some pieces catered. And yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to have a real graduation and walk across the stage and all that. But like I said, we, we've been making the most of everything for the whole time this has been a thing. And I think we did the same on Saturday. I was able to find this person that I studied with and we really planned everything out and we're disciplined and we did really well. And I was career path wise, I'm starting in accounting and hoping to do about two to three years and get some work experience. And then I want to apply it to work for the FBI. So that's kind of been a goal of mine for since early high school, probably coming to Alabama and it was like 72 degrees in early February. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. And researching more into Alabama, I realized that their accounting program was very, very good, especially in the South region for her students. So, I mean, there were many times where I'd go to her office hours and just talk or hang out. Not I'll even give her about, a shout out. What was your professor's name? Jill Datema. Jill, and she, yeah, she wrote a letter of rec for me for grad school. Um, so yeah, she definitely stood out the most. And then I had another professor, Sophia Kennedy, who um, also wrote a letter of rec. And I also had her for three classes. And she just does a really good job of explaining accounting. And I met with her. Yeah, Coach Peck, number one, for sure. He was my baseball coach for four years. And I think I had him for gym class too. But he was one of those guys that cared he cares a lot about baseball, but he cared more about turning us into good guys. And he really preached on character and doing the little things right. You know, all this, that's an uncontrollable. I can't control that. But what I can control is sticking to a routine and still working out and eating well and doing little things like that, that will give me a better quality of life. Both of the Tagies, Mr. and Mrs. Tagie. I had them for Spanish probably, yeah, two or three years. And they really made it super fun. And me and my friends did a lot of video projects uh, for their class. And they just really stick out to you as being a really fun couple and teaching Spanish well and making it extremely enjoyable. Sure, it would be Mr. Wadlington. He, was, uh, he taught AP Psychology. And yeah, he was one of those guys that just made it so interesting. And everyone always wanted to take that class. And it was kind of my first intro to the world of psychology. And he made me, like, I almost considered majoring in so a big, like, like 30,000, 20,000 kids. So I think it'd be like overwhelming. And what I got to say about that is being in Alabama here, it's like, yeah, 30,000 or something but there's ways to make it feel way smaller and you just got to get involved in some sort of club. If it's a fraternity or sorority or a youth group or something to make it feel smaller and it will. And so I've taken that to heart. And like I said, 
say yes to as much as you can, get exposure, meet as many people as you can, make those connections. Discovered this new place recently we've been going to a lot. It's called Babe's Donuts. And probably some of the best donuts I've ever had in my life. <laughs> we've gone there like many times through the whole like quarantine. It's called Dixieland Delight. And I also hadn't heard of it, but it's the song that everybody sings at the end of the third quarter of football games. And just the entire stadium just like yells it and like dances around to it. And it's super fun. Yeah, that's probably the most energy I've ever like felt in a city. Because even starting like Wednesday, they were starting to set stuff up for like college game day on the quad and um so many people were coming into town like at my everybody, everybody just-